This is Slush and Stick. They are the founders of Satoshi Labs, and they believe in Bitcoin and open source. Why, you might ask? It's because both of them have the same very important and noble mission, to return power and independence to the people. However, not everything in Bitcoin is open source, and together, we will tell you what we are going to do about it. In 2012, we invented Trezor, the first Bitcoin hardware wallet, and we built it on a very strong philosophy of complete transparency and self-sovereignty. It was the right choice. The beauty of open source is that anyone is welcome to study and audit all of its content. It is not being certified by central institutions or governments, but it's continuously reviewed by thousands of independent researchers. These reviews are especially critical in the context of Bitcoin, where we need to fully understand how it works in order to stay truly independent. Seeing Trezor as an integral part of the Bitcoin ecosystem, we wanted to stay truthful to the vision of breaking free. We partly succeeded in building the truly open hardware wallet by removing us from the trust equation. Don't trust, verify. But at some point, the poetic ideals meet the real world. The world of closed source hardware and non-disclosure agreements lacks transparency and makes it very hard to invite independent experts for review. In this world, there is a special category of chips called secure elements, claiming to be secure. All of them are closed, and most of them require NDAs to be signed, making it very hard to verify their security claims and guarantees. Over the years we have investigated these chips, we even came up with a prototype of a Trezor containing a certified secure element. However, we only confirmed our assumptions that secure elements are not good enough and do not meet our high product standards. This saved us and our customers lots of future trouble. In one of the many certified options we reviewed, we saw a potential candidate for which we needed to sign an NDA. Over a few weeks, we uncovered several critical flaws requiring no special hardware, leading to the full extraction of the secret keys from the chip. We quickly realized these were the attacks nobody tested against, not the vendor, nor any of the certification parties. Some people may think that certifications can replace independent reviews, but that is wrong. The crazy thing about certifications is that they only test against predefined scenarios. Behavior outside of these scenarios is not tested at all. But these out-of-scope areas are exactly where hackers operate. But back to our story. We reported these flaws to the vendor. During the call with the management, we learned the vendor will not communicate the vulnerabilities to their customers. And because of the NDA, we won't be able to tell the world about these critical mistakes either. Just imagine the messed up situation we would be in if we couldn't tell you about the flaws in Trezor. We would totally be disowning the original principles on which Bitcoin and Trezor stand, to bring back independence and self-sovereignty to individuals. Seeing all of this, we realized the chips from the old world make it impossible to fulfill our mission, and we realized we need to go our own way once again. And this is where Evgen and Hansa come to join us. Together, we are going to change the world again. Our goal is to achieve something no one has even tried before. We believe in software-defined security, but every software needs to run on a chip. Real system security begins with trusted hardware. Nowadays, as a hardware producer, you have two options. You can buy off-the-shelf closed-source chips with a risk of NDA restrictions, or invest a considerable amount of money and time and get your chips customized. You will get better knowledge, but you still have to deal with NDAs and the closed source nature of the chip design industry. Our goal is to deliver as open chip as possible. We want to provide access to design specification, verification, and testing without obscurity. There is also work to do on physical implementation to make chips secure, yet transparent and verifiable by anyone. That is why we will bring you the open chip without any NDAs, without any hidden clauses, and without any limitations. All this would not be possible without Bitcoin, but it will be useful for many other industries. We are introducing Tropic Square, truly open IC. Let's join forces and help us disrupt a multi-billion dollar industry. Follow us on Twitter and go to our website, tropicsquare.com.